Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is day 21, nearly to the end of the 2022 Avid of Cyber from Try Hack Me. So in today's video, we're going to be hacking a webcam, right? I believe it's all about get yourself a merry little webcam. So this should be a little uh, very interesting. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, you know, welcome back. So let's have some fun. But please like, subscribe, and all that stuff. So that's an obvious, right? So we can make this, let's like bring this up a little bit. So we can, what did I just do? Let's make this a little bigger. And I do have it open in a different browser, so we can, I messed this up too. I'm going to make this, refresh this, make sure everything is good. Okay, perfect. All right, so day 21. So the learning objectives for today is explain the Internet of Things, why is it important, and if we should be concerned about their danger. You know, if there's anything on the Internet, you know, maybe you heard of Shodan, maybe you heard of all these, you know, other sites that have Internet of Things, and just the Internet of Things, right? Understand the difference between an IoT-specific protocol and other network protocols, right? So we're going to understand what a publish, subscribe model is and how it interacts with IoT devices. And then we're going to analyze and exploit the behavior of a vulnerability of an IoT device, right? So, you know, you can read through all this. What is Internet of Things? You know, you know it's just things on the Internet that are connected to the Internet that has webcam, excuse me, that has an Internet connection such as, like it says, thermostats, web cameras, smart refrigerators, you name it, it's probably connected to the internet. So if we just come down a little bit and we can do like an introduction to the IoT protocols and so on and so forth, machine to machine, machine to gateway, machine to the cloud communication, all these different communication strings, right? And it all run, you know, the TCP IP stack, the TCP IP protocol, and, and all that good stuff. So you know, let's break down a little IoT data protocol. You know, an IoT data protocol is, you know, pretty much common in the network services. You, know, you may use and interact with it daily, such as HTTP, SMB, FTP, and other protocols. As we're connecting to Try Hack Me right now, we're connecting through HTTPS because it's a secure protocol that's transferring that data and so on and so forth, right? So then you have a, uh, the messaging protocols in middleware. Like right here, you have you know client A sending the IoT protocol to the middleware. The middleware is sending it to client B. So it's pretty much the like the little guy in the middle, middleman. All right. So then we have MQTT. Here, this is a protocol COAP, AMQP, DDS, HTTP, WebSockets, etc. All right, so let's get to uh, let, let, let's get to the meat and potatoes here. So, are the protocols in a hierarchy vulnerable? We don't know yet because I haven't done this machine yet. So, let's keep going down, interacting with MQTT. So, subscribing to the topic. So, I'm guessing we're going to be using Mosquito, the client utility, to subscribe to the broker. Okay, so. I'm assuming a lot of these are going to be important shortly. We're probably going to be using these flags and these these topics, uh, dash topic, um, and all this good stuff. So mosquito dash h for the host name, I assume, and then example dot thm dash t for the d device info, and then the message is this is an example. I'm assuming this is just my assumption. Like I said, we're just walking through this together, folks. So, all right, so the practical application. So the, the broker is found at 10. Dot, okay, so let's see if I can ping this really quick. Let's ping 10.10.209. 10 76. All right, I am able to ping it. 
I do have this a little big because it's on my on the, the full screen here. I think I'm probably gonna work off that in a minute, but we're just gonna get some stuff started. So what we need to do is let's keep going down. Uh, we do not, okay, so right here is some source code of the snippet. Uh, so what we can see here, we can do some of the source code here. So we have the payloads, the prints, the values, CMD name, CMD values, CMD name, C uh, URL name, URL value. And um, let's see what else we have here. The webcam. All right, so this is the this is the format that the message is going to be sent in. So CMD, the value, the URL, and then the value. So the value has to be 10. All right, so we'll get to that probably later on. So RS, uh, RTSP, this is pretty much a protocol. So, okay, so verify and, okay, so this is pretty much, we ping this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run nmap against this IP. So let's go ahead and just come back here. And what I wanna do is I wanna run nmap and I wanna do a dash P. So I believe we saw 18 was up here. Let me see. Where did I see that? I just saw it um, up here. I scrolled, I scrolled so fast. Oh, let's go down. I believe it was down. It was, I think it was 18, 1883. Let's just, right here. Yep. The default port is 1883. Okay, perfect. So let's just go ahead and do 1883. And then we're going to do a service scan and then a default scripting scan. So with a TAC SC and then our target IP, which is our target IP is 10.10. Uh, 209.76. Whoops, dot 76. All right, so we'll give that a moment. And once this comes up, we'll get some information that feeds to us. So let's go ahead and just continue. Let's go down. Okay, that was quick. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can open this full screen. Let's open this bad boy. All right, so let's go all the way up. And take some notes of our output. So our output, we can see the services. Yes, it's open. Mosquito version um, 169. Okay, perfect. So it's port 181883. Awesome. All right, so... Let's see. Thing really sticks out here, I'm going to run this one more time. As I think it should say like device, what does it say, like device in it. So it's something with this should, should come up. So let's give this a moment. Let's give it another second to run and see if we get that. Oh, here we go. Boom. Did it come up the first time too and I just missed it? No. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. All right, cool deal. So this is our this is our um code and, and this is device dot a slash in it. So this is going to be the ID, not the code, the ID. Perfect. Okay. So next what what, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, device slash device de device slash ID slash CMD. Okay, so let's just go ahead and drop this code down for a second for now. Let's go back here. So the next step, step two, is to do mosquito underscore sub. Okay, so we have to subscribe to the to the device. Okay, so let's give that a. Let's give that a jingle. All right, so let's go ahead and hit enter, enter, enter. All right, so what we're gonna do is mosquito underscore sub. So we have to sub that, all right? So then we're gonna do dash H and then my IP address. So which is in my case, 10.10. .10 oh crap, address, got it ready. 10.209.76, 209.76.
dot seventy six. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do dash T because if we remember, and it's going to be device slash init, right? All right, we'll give that a second, see what we get back. Perfect. So we got it right there. That's good. So let's go ahead and do a control C. So that should be the same thing as up here. SCVR, SVRAG. Yep, that's the same thing. Perfect. So let's continue the, the, uh, so next we're going to start an RTSP server using the Docker run dash dash RM dash init uh, IT network host, etc. So I don't know if I can just paste this in, but let me go ahead and open up a new tab. Okay. And okay, let me make this bigger. It okay, well, it's a little, it's a little too big. All right. So let's go ahead and I don't feel like copying. I mean, typing this all out. All right, let's see if that pasted. Perfect. All right, so let's run that. Okay, so it is running. So the most important thing right now is the RTSP, the listener right here is open up on port 8554. Okay, so let that do its thing, let that cook. We can clear this out, bring this back in. So the next thing we have to do here is obviously we're making sure the, the thing is running. So now what we have to do is do the mosquito pub. So to publish your payload to the device, we have to do that now. So let's go ahead and give this a jingle. So let's go ahead and go back here. Come back to this first tab. So let's, let's let that hang out for a second. All right. So what we're going to do now is the pub. I wonder if I can. Uh, there. No. I was going to say maybe, maybe I can just do a quick copy and paste, but I can't. Okay. M O S Q. And then it's going to be pub. All right. So next is going to be the host name and 1010.209. Ten, ten dot dot in my case. Okay. And it's going to be dash T. And then device in it. Okay. No, oh, actually, this is the publisher now. So let's go ahead and go back for a second. So publish is going to be slash the ID and then slash CMD. Okay. So, and then it's going to be, okay, dash DM. All right. So let's go ahead and copy this. Paste. And then it's going to be slash CMD. Spell CMD. Okay. All right, so see if we're making progress. Do, 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 payload topic. So recall that your URL must be a tag box. Okay, so pretty much we just have to. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put in a, what do you call it, like a string. I, I believe that's up here. Let's go ahead and go back up here. This is why I should have wrote this down. Okay, so we're going to do this value. So let's go ahead. So it's CMD and then um, colon value. So our value is 10. And then it's going to be URL and then the RS, RTSP slash uh, colon slash slash IP address slash uh, 8554. And then we need to have a path. I'm going to put like, for example, the, the path can be anything. You can put like I want to put Pat for an example, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and do a dash M here. And then I want to do one, two, three quotes and um, curly brackets. And then we have to do quotes CMD because that's going to be the, the value for the first one. If I can spell, maybe I can't type and talk at the same time. And then colon 
right? And then we're going to do the, the value is going to be 10, right? That's what it said. And then it's going to be comma URL, right? So URL. And then it's going to be, let me just go tri triple check. I think it's RTSP. Yep, RTSP. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be RTSP. Okay, colon where, and then the IP address of the of, of your machine because your machine is going to communicate back. The the the, the payload is going to be uh, reporting back to your machine, right? So if that makes sense, so ten dot ten dot one ninety eight dot two one two, and I got that from right here, so they make it really easy. Okay, so and then it's going to be colon eight five five four. That's going to be the that's going to be the port, right? So and then remember now it's the path. So I want to put infosec path, okay? Because so that's something for me to remember. And then we're going to close this out, okay? So let's see if I, if I hit enter, okay? So no errors. That is good, right? So what we need to do now, we can go back here. We can see if there's a connection. Boom, there is a connection. It is open. Perfect. Now what we need to do is the last step. Let's go back to our steps. So this all worked. We got a connection. Now what we have to do is just run the, the um, VLC player. VLC is just like pretty much when I'm done editing, this is going to open up in VLC. That's probably one of my favorite media players. So let's go ahead and go back and get that. Okay. So let's go back here, and we're going to run that, the VLC, okay? So VLC, and if you've seen what it said, it said R RTSP, colon, whack, whack, and then the local IP, 127.0.0.1, okay? And it's going to be colon, 8554, four, and slash, in my case, it's going to be infosec pat, right? And then once I hit enter, we should be able to get a VLC player. And I don't know what this is going to show. Oh, this shows the flag. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and start answering the questions. All right. So if we move down here, the what port is it running on? Mosquito, it's 1883. Okay. Perfect. In the device in it uh, topic eliminative by nmap is yes, absolutely. That's how we found it through the nmap. What version of Mosquito was running on this device? I think it was one one point six point nine. Okay. And the flag. Oh, let's go back here. What does that say? Your camera is mine. <laughs> That's a good one. So try hack me. And then your camera is mine. Boom. We are finito today. So this is day 21. We just got done. Thank you guys so much for viewing. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments below or hit me up on any social media site or whatever, however you want to reach out to me. And until tomorrow, have a beautiful day and happy holidays.